Welcome to Movies with McLean. I'm Andrew McLean, and this is the weekly movie podcast where we talk all things movies, including the latest in movie news. With me today, as always, are my co-hosts. First up, Griffin Burris. What's up, guys? And Eric Thomas. All right, all right, all right. And as a guest today, Grant Hoffman. Grant, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Great to be back on the show. Yeah, I'm glad to have you. Uh, so, Grant, is there any uh, anything coming out uh, real soon that you're real excited to see? Uh, the Great Wall. Really? Uh, I'd, there's not going to be a better movie that comes out this year. Really? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I love those historical epics. It's all accurate. It's all real information. Yeah, I heard it. They put like a lot of uh, detail into making it historically accurate. I mean, Matt Damon with a bow. Dragons. Slinging arrows. Yeah, Matt Damon and a uh, white monsters. person in China slinging the bow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's all historical actually. <laughs> the guy who does that, he's white, like in history. So oh yeah, it's, uh, I bet it's all right. Yeah. Uh, well, I can't wait for that movie, but it's about <laughs> to be the second greatest wall after uh, after the new one goes up. But uh, we're gonna start this. <laughs> we're gonna start the show as we always do with the movie news, and uh, we're just gonna get something out of the way first. Uh, I know we complain about Batman a lot, so we're not actually gonna talk about this. But I just want to say they've also decided to use a no, a different script, one that's not written by Ben Affleck and uh, Jeff Johns, but this one written by Chris Terrio, who wrote Argo and Batman v Superman. So it is what it is. We're not talking about it, but that's just an update because uh, we have to have the weekly update now. Um, so the main topic of our news today is the Super Bowl spots. Uh, there were a lot of movies that had ads during the Super Bowl, this year, and uh, also congratulations to the New England Patriots. But uh, first up, we're going to talk about the new spot for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So, Griffin, what do you think of this new spot? I'm so excited for this movie. Like, it's pr- Guardians is, like, my favorite, like, Marvel movie. So, like, this one, it looks like it's going to be the same, and they got, like, the new soundtrack. The new trailer was awesome. I'm excited. Yeah, it looks like they, what they're, what... They're repeating the successful formula they had for the first one, so like I can't really see it failing or being a bad movie. I'm not sure if it'll be as good as the first one, but it'll definitely be very good. Yeah, Eric, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty. I think it was uh, kind of similar to the first trailer that we saw. It just kind of gave us a little more, and yeah. uh, like Grant said, you can't really go wrong with Guardians of the Galaxy. So I mean, it's gonna be good. Yeah, for me, like this, uh, this spot didn't really do anything new, but I didn't need anything new because I'm already sold on this movie. Um gonna buy my ticket as soon as I can I'll be there so uh, it just is more assurance that this is gonna be a great movie yeah. put a spotlight on each of the characters yeah. so. they used a lot of the same footage for like the second one yeah so, like, did. Yeah. I don't mind that though like I hate no, when they put a ton of yeah. trailers it, like we talked about on the show yeah. before I hate when they ruin the movie yeah. they show the whole movie trailers, trailers. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, yeah you were saying split earlier right? yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And every decent movie happen. ever but yeah, yeah. yeah. so I mean I, I think the trailer's good all right. Uh, next up is Logan. Uh, I think I'll start off on Logan. That I think uh, they made another great choice for the music that worked really well in this uh, in this small spot. Only a thirty uh, second spot compared to that longer trailer with the Johnny Cash. But I think uh, this was a a little different than that one. It uh, showed a little more action, so I was excited to see that. And uh, I can't wait for this movie. Not too far away. What are your thoughts, Chris? <laughs> Uh, they showed a lot more, like, actual scenes in the movie, I thought, and it was a lot more different than the first one, but, like, I was okay with, but the first one's still my favorite. Yeah. Grant? Um, I'm gonna say that, like, I think it's gonna work really well, because it's not gonna really be much like any other superhero movies that we're used to with Marvel and DC, so I think that, like, just kind of, like, the change of pace is gonna work really well, and, I mean, Hugh Jackman as the Wolverine is always good in almost every case except for Wolverine Origins. And it's, it's like it's R, so like, you know, he's just going to be slashing through people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think the the commercial, it had like some different scenes in it, but it kind of had that same like tone, the yeah. same like feeling. Yeah. And I hope that they can translate that to the, throughout the whole movie because, I mean, it's really that like gritty, like serious kind of version mm-hmm. of like superheroes. And um, I mean, I, I think if they can make the movie, like the trailers, it's going to be very good. Yeah, I can't wait. I've actually been avoiding that second trailer that came out just because I don't want to see anything else that's going to, like, mm-hmm. ruin anything yeah, for yeah. me. Um, but, yeah, I can't wait. Uh, next up is Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. So oh, Eric, man, I think I'm going to start on this <laughs> one. Oh, my god! Even though, I mean, the, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies have gotten a lot of crap, and, like, 
uh, I'll be the first to admit they're not the best movies, but I love them. I love these movies. I mean, the, I I can't even explain why. I just every time I watch them, you know, I think they're good. Um, this is the first time we saw uh, Johnny Depp back in the back in the costume in the trailers. Um, I was excited to see that. Uh, you mean, think the last movie's good? What? You think the last one was pretty good? Uh, I gotta say no, but I enjoy <laughs> yeah. watching it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not like a critically good movie, yeah. but I still love watching them. Yeah. I haven't really liked any of these movies since <clears throat> the first one, and I don't think I'm gonna yeah. like this one. Yeah, I don't uh, like this one at all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. People are saying like the trailers are looking good, but they're not selling me. Uh, the first um, trailer I thought looked like. Like good, but like this trailer was out. I'm like this movie's gonna be horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the first one. I haven't liked any of them since. But that <laughs> yeah, being first said, was good. All that being said, weird. Javier Bardem is a great actor, especially in like a villain role. Yeah, as in No Country for Old Men and in Skyfall. Yeah. So he definitely. It may not be the best movie, but like there could be a lot of good actors that kind of carry it. So, yeah. Orlando kinda, Bloom's back in this one, but, yeah. like, they they kind of showed him in the trailer, like, with the barnacles on mm -hmm. his face or something. I don't know if he's, like, one of those zombies. But yeah, he, he ended like up being captain the, of the... He's I, like I don't even oh, no, 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 remember. Uh, no, not the Black Pearl. He's captain the whatever Jones Davy Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm mean, kind of interesting to see what they're going to do with, like, the villain. It looks like he's almost, like, death or something. Like, I don't... With, throughout uh, the yeah, it's, trailers, it's kind of... It's very vague, so... It's, it's going to be a hit or a miss. It's, yeah. it's either going to do well or be bad. Probably bad. I'll probably enjoy it either way. Yeah. It's going to be horrible, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. All right, I'm actually really excited to talk about this one, A Cure for Wellness. Oh, God. <laughs> this one, it looks like it looks right. This movie know. looks like, I don't even know, dude. It's so creepy. I don't, know, I don't know what to say. I this can't, movie just looks so weird. I, I have no idea what to expect from it. Like, I don't know if I'll see it in theaters, but, like, what is it about? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't so understand. The basic premise that I got is that he goes to get, like, bring this person back who's been missing, and he finds out that she's in, like, this like a sane asylum I guess and he goes in and they say that he can leave whenever he wants but then they start like giving him like these serums and stuff and they start like telling him that he's crazy and he starts to like believe it and that's how they get people okay. in and I guess there's like experiments on people yeah I guess they're doing like experiments and find like a cure so he's, like, trying or to something. escape or something or what a, a cure so, yeah. no, they call it a cure for wellness they, like, yeah a cure for but it's actually like it's very just, detrimental yeah. to they're just testing on I, yeah, so this movie, like, wasn't really on my radar at all. I'd watched the first trailer, and I thought, like, uh, not really my type of yeah. movie. But th this ad was just <laughs> so, like, weird and also, It like, was so weird. Creepy, but funny at the same time, because <laughs> it's like, are you feeling unwell? Take the cure. And then yeah. right away, side effects include insanity, murderous rage, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> stroke. <laughs> I, I was losing it watching this. I mean, and, well, I don't know the name of the lead guy, but, like... He's been good in some movies and horrible in others. Dane DeHaan, yeah. Yeah, like the new Spider-Man movies, he's garbage in. Like, I did not enjoy this whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, okay, I hate that movie, but I, I didn't think he was, like, the worst part of it. No, movie. he wasn't the worst part, but, like, he didn't do anything to help the movie either. Yeah. But then, like, he has, like, classic movies like Chronicle, which were very good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's going to be one of those movies that, like, bombs in the box office, but in, like, 30 years, it's, like, some, like cult hit, some you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, some yeah. people, like, go back no, and, like, are Nobody will understand it at yeah. first. Yeah. And it'll be overanalyzed and people will like it. Yeah, well, it's a shame they just dropped a, uh, two million dollars or something on a Super Bowl ad, because it probably is going to bomb. Yeah, really. it's definitely going to bomb. Yeah. All right, uh, next movie is Life. Uh, Grant, you want to talk about this one? Uh, yeah, I'm a big space movie guy, and, I mean, I also love all the alien movies, that kind of thing, so I definitely see myself going to see this movie, and I think it'll be very good just because of the actors in it. I think it's, like, a, like a good contrast with Jake Gyllenhaal and Ryan Reynolds. And, I mean, knowing them, they don't seem like actors who would do space movies often, so I'm assuming it probably has a good enough score to like keep them on board with it so I think it'll probably be a good movie and well acted yeah I think it looks pretty cool I like the actors um it's it's all like seems to be contained within a small space station so it yeah. seems like yeah. it's going to be kind of claustrophobic uh like space horror so I think it looks pretty cool I'm excited for it great for your thoughts just looks like kind of like one of those classic alien space movies honestly I like kind of like bringing that back because most like alien movies now are just trash yeah and this one doesn't look bad so I'm excited 
I mean, you guys pretty much had every, everything. It has some good actors in there. It looks like it's going to be intense. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I think it's just going to continue the trend of these good sci-fi yeah. movies that we've been having yeah. in the past several years. Oh, yeah. Um, next up, I'm uh, very excited for this one. John Wick Chapter 2. Oh, yeah. Comes out tomorrow night. Uh, I can't wait. And uh, we'll be talking about the first John Wick a little bit later. But uh, this ad I thought was hilarious because it was making fun of Fifty Shades Darker. <laughs> and it was like, this weekend, slip into, slip into something a shade darker. And it like shows this girl like strip and then all of a sudden John Wick's just shooting guys in the head. <laughs> <laughs> it's just awesome. I can't wait for this movie. Uh, it's it's going to be insane. Uh, Grant, what are your thoughts? Um, the first one was very good. I liked it. Um, it it like <clears throat> all these the fight scenes in it were very well choreographed. Yeah. And the, they were very interesting to watch. So I liked that, and I hope they continue out with this one. And I mean, overall, the second one was just kind of like people were not expecting it to be good whatsoever, mm -hmm. and it actually was very good. So I think Keanu Reeves will. I mean. He's usually not the best with sequels. I mean, especially oh, Ma yeah. Matrix yeah. Two yeah. and his second movies yeah. just have not been good. But so far, I mean, I've been checking the tomato meter on this, and it's at like a ninety-seven or yeah. a ninety-eight right oh, now. Wow. So wow. I think yeah. I think people are doing good. people are liking it. It's a good yeah. sequel. I mean, they'll probably go down. It'll a little go bit down when they're yeah. when, it, when yeah. everybody so everyone can see starts it. seeing it. But, but I, mean, I mean, just the fact that it has that right now yeah. is yeah. like that's that's, that's a good sign. I looked at it like twenty. There were thirty reviews. I mean. 29 people out of 30 liked it. Yeah. yeah. So, pretty I mean, much, that's yeah. pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was a... It was a uh, like McLean said, it was an interesting commercial for it. And, yeah. yeah, I think it caught a lot of people, caught a lot of people's attention. Um, we'll talk about the first one in a little bit, but I'm excited for this one. I haven't actually seen the first one, but, like, this trailer looks makes it look pretty awesome, and from the Rotten Tomato score, that's pretty good, so... We'll see. Yep. Uh, next one up is Transformers, uh, The Last Night, I think that's what this one's called, The Last <laughs> Shit Box. I don't is it, know is it directed by Michael Bay? Yes, it is. I don't want to see it. Yeah, none of us want to see it. Uh, Anthony Hopkins is in this, apparently. Yeah, that was weird. I didn't know that. I still don't care. Uh, does anyone actually want to no. talk about this one? No. no. Uh, uh, I gotta say one thing about it, stop making these movies. It's gonna be a garbage like movie. It's, it's over. Like, you, you made your well, money. They, they always do well at the box office. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And Why is I Michael guarantee Bay? this one will do well too. Yeah. When was the last time Michael Bay had a movie with a tomato score like above like a twenty percent? Well, I had, I had, I had like like thirteen hours, which was like it was, it was like mixed. It was like probably sixty or something, which is that war movie that was all right. All right, okay. I would like to say the movie with John Cena, The Wall, looks good. I don't know if you've seen a trailer for it, but that movie looks good. And I'm, like, I'm not ashamed to say it. it does Michael not Bay directing that? No, I'm not oh. sure if he's. It's like I don't know. It's just like. It just looks like a trash movie, reminding me of like a war movie. Like, oh, okay. it's just, hmm. like watch the trailer, it looks pretty good. It I've just seen pretty the trailer in it. Yeah, let's film it. John Cena. Uh, next up, Ghost in the Shell. Uh, Grant, what do you think? This is I. I'm giving this like a five percent. It's good, <laughs> and the other ninety five percent says that it's going to be absolutely horrible. Yeah, yeah. Really. Uh, this movie's going to be trash. <laughs> You're not going to see it. <laughs> Um, anime movies just like it never works I've heard, transitioning from anime to live action. I've like, heard it's like been in development hell for like a really long time too. Like it's like an old comic like that's been made for a while. Yeah, it's gonna like, suck. They just haven't been able to find the right amount of people for it. And Scarlett Johansson in like some Asian city. I mean, like it's gonna look or hot because she doesn't look <laughs> like she has clothes on. Like I might go see it for that, but I mean, not not on its own merit. It's probably gonna be very bad. Yeah. It might make some money though, because Scarlett Johansson is a big box office draw. She was like leading. She like won the year in box office like last year, I think, yeah. or the year before. Do do any of you know what it's actually like about? It's like it's like she's like some android and she runs into the guy with the weird eyes and he like opens it's her eyes anime. about the company she worked for or oh, something like okay. that and then there's little geishas who have robot faces and stuff. Yeah. It, looks so yeah. Weird. Yeah. it looks so weird. Yeah, but like the, when I was watching the trailer, I just had like no idea what was going on. Really. Yeah, I feel like, like it's just kind of like fan service for the people that love exactly that. Exactly, like, like it's is what there's it not like. a draw for anybody who doesn't know what it's about. Like, but I mean, I've heard the anime is actually like yeah. pretty good. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a big anime guy, but I don't doubt that. <laughs> Alright, so next up we have Fast 8. Griff, what are your thoughts on this one? I mean, it's the 8th Fast and Furious movie. I feel like they should stop making them, probably, but uh, they're going to keep making them. So, I'm probably not going to see this in theaters, and I don't think it's going to be that great. What do you think, Eric? 
Uh, yeah, definitely not going to see this one in theaters. Um, I think they're kind of drawing this one out a little yeah. too long, too. Uh, it's kind of like Transformers. Um, but just, now, what, like, Vin Diesel is, like, going, going against bad, the crew yeah. now or something like that. So that's a big, that's why this one's different. They just need another like character to die, so they'll stop making them. Yeah, it's yeah. the same thing. Like, let's, it's going to be the same thing. So, I mean, if you like Fast and Furious 7, then you'll probably like this one. Yeah, I, mean. I, I have not thought that those movies have been good since Fast Five. Because Fast Five was great. It's, it's good, yeah. It was a very good movie. I've only but seen the then, first one. Then after that, like... It just got unrealistic to a point yeah. where I couldn't watch it anymore. And, like, I, yeah. I remember watching Fe uh, Furious 7, and Vin Diesel jumped from two skyscrapers. <laughs> and I was like, I turned it off. Like, I couldn't watch it anymore. I was like, this is just so unrealistic. I mean, and all movies are. It's so unrealistic. I cannot watch this anymore. Like, the action's just so overdone. Yeah. To where it's a point, it's, like, ridiculous. And like, then, you're just, and then just like, come on. Then, like, I mean, I like Paul Walker and all, but, like, they just threw in like more stuff with him and all that, so they would get better ratings and more money. Like, yeah. that, like, it, like it yeah. was not that good, but it got better ratings because Paul Walker died. Yeah, which is kind of messed up to say, but like, it, it, like, it, it is, it's did. true. Yeah, like I don't like, I don't like having to say that, but it's, I mean, gotta it face the truth. Did you just kill Vin Diesel? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 well, okay, first of all. He's got he's got to get the best actor Oscar for it. <laughs> <laughs> they should just like at the uh, at the Academy Awards just like announce the nominees and then just be like and the winner what Vin Diesel? <laughs> <laughs> he's not even a nominee but Vin Diesel. <laughs> All right, uh, the last one we're talking about is Baywatch. Uh, Grant, what are your thoughts? Um, I think it's just gonna like I don't think it'll necessarily be a good movie, but I mean, Zac Efron's been very good lately, like, the one with the two brothers and the mayor, and like, going to the marriage, like, that yeah. that wasn't necessarily a good movie, but like, it got some laughs out of me. I don't think it'll be bad, but I think Dwayne Johnson <coughs> and Zac Efron, they'll do well with it, and I mean, it'll definitely make money in box office. Yeah, Zac Efron's definitely turned his career around when he used to be making those, like, chick flicks, now he's making actually good comedies, so... I, I don't know how... I'm hoping this movie's going to be funny. Uh, it looks funny. Uh, I'm just worried that maybe they're showing all the good jokes in the trailers. But I, there was, like, a really laugh-out-loud moment at the end of the trailer, so I did enjoy it. Um, and I, I probably will uh, will check this one out in theaters. What do you think, Eric? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it'll be, like, his other movies, like you guys said. It's not going to be, like, a great movie in any sense, but it, I think it'll be pretty funny. Um, I think they're just kind of using the Baywatch name to get you know, like, more marketing out there. Yeah. I don't think oh, it's really... Oh, that and the actors, the women actors look so hot. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's I just... think those women actors will literally be there to be hot. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're, they don't know if they'll necessarily serve a purpose, but, like, what we talked about this when Dick Out was on yeah. last time, and he was just like, she has some nude scenes in some movie. Go check them out. Like, they're real <laughs> nice. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they had less than, like, three lines, and then they just, oh, like, yeah. ran around in slow motion. Yeah, so, that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's going to flop, though. I don't know. Really? Sounds like a good time, honestly. <laughs> I feel like they're going to show all the funny parts, like a trailer. Yeah. It's just yeah. going to be some movie with a bunch of hot chicks. That's it. <laughs> it could be, yeah. Uh, well, I'm hopeful. Uh, I don't know. It might be like that, though. Uh, that's all we have in the movie news. So we're going to get into our main topic today. So as we said before, John Wick Chapter 2 comes out tomorrow night in theaters. So we are discussing our favorite... Movies of Keanu Reeves. Whoa. So, uh, first up, we're talking about The Matrix. Uh, Griff, how about you start us off with The Matrix? Just watched this one last night. Gotta say, this movie was pretty crazy. <clears throat> Especially for, like, the time it was, like, made. I was still impressed with the movie. And just, like, the concept of it was really sweet. Yeah. I like it a lot. Um, I watched this... I haven't watched this movie recently, but I really liked it as a kid. And, uh, it was... I mean, the special effects for the time were groundbreaking uh the acting was yeah, very good times. yeah I mean, the fact that they did that back then is pretty cool yeah. the story was great um and it was just like something nobody had seen before mm -hmm. like just like a cool concept and they executed it really well and it turned out being a great movie Eric? uh yeah it's just one of those movies that you kind of have to see you know it's just like um what they said it's it's a really cool concept which is what i think is the best part about the movie it's like how they like deal with that um and the special effects for the time were really good. So, I mean, if you haven't seen The Matrix, it just, it's something you got to go yeah. through. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, Hugo Weaving is really uh, is really cool and badass as the villain Agent Smith. I think that was one of my favorite parts of the movie. Uh, he he's just one of the most uh, like memorable villains, um, and I think that's true with a lot of the movies we'll talk about today. They had good villains, but uh, that that was really probably one of my favorite parts. And um, you know, not, nothing like really special about the performance of Keanu Reeves, but. Um, you know, it's it's decent performances all around, good good cast, and um, just a uh, cool like atmosphere the way they they set it in that um, mm -hmm. in that setting. So yeah, I, I really enjoy the Matrix. Uh, anyone else have anything on the Matrix? I think that's it. All right, we'll move on to Point Break. Uh, anyone want to start us off on Point Break? Uh, um, I can. Uh, Point Break. I didn't see too long ago. I probably saw it for the first time last year. And I thought it was great, as insane as Gary Busey is. He did an okay job in this movie, and I, I mean... Utah, give me two. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, like, it was just a really good story. And it's just, like, it's something that kind of just kept, uh, kept you on the edge of your seat the entire time you were watching it. Like, it's not, so, it's not a movie where you're never not entertained. Yeah. I'm not going to say it was the best movie of Keanu Reeves, probably The Matrix, but, or Speed, but... Point Break was definitely like a highlight in his career, and he definitely did very well. I mean, part of that was due to like Patrick Swayze's popularity at the time, but uh, I mean, still very good movie, very entertaining. Yeah, I think you mentioned Patrick Swayze. I think he gives such a compelling performance, um, and uh, his character has a lot of depth, and so does. Uh, th this is kind of like uh, the precursor to Fast and Furious, where Fast mm -hmm. and Furious became Point Break with Cars, where. Uh, Keanu infiltrates this uh, group of surfers who are also bank robbers, and then he's torn between, you know, his relationship with Patrick Swayze and then his relationship with his partner Gary Busey. So I think that's a cool dynamic, and um, like Swayze's just this sort of like mythic character. Yeah, he's and sweet. It's it's awesome. Um, Eric, have you seen Point Break? I have. Um, I thought I thought it was a really cool idea, and like seeing the trailers, I was like really excited for this movie, but I. Like Grant, it's not anything great. I mean, I don't. I didn't think it was bad in any sense. And there were some really cool like scenes, like the visuals of a lot of scenes were really yeah. good. But uh, I mean, it wasn't something that I like walked away really impressed with. Um, I think yeah, there was a lot of good acting in there, but it was just nothing that like I feel like they could have gone like deeper into that kind of story there. Yeah, I like Swayze in it, but like like you said, I didn't, yeah, I like the concept, but I didn't really think they like dove into the story that much. Yeah. And it was just kind of okay. I remember I got like a nine on like the Rotten Tomato score. You're probably thinking of the yeah. new one. I was about to say, screw Hollywood for making remakes of good oh, movies. Oh yeah, that one got a nine. Because yeah. I've seen that movie that and it's horrible. horrible. Yeah. It's Why just, would you even remake awful. that movie when it came out like yeah. not that long ago and people can still easily yeah. access it? Like, Such a pointless remake. Hey, uh, who knows, where did uh, Johnny Utah play college football? Kansas? Ohio State. Oh, yeah. Play for the Buckeyes. <laughs> um, all right, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, we just talked about a little bit, Speed. Uh, so, Griff, how about you start us off? This movie's pretty sweet. It has a really cool concept of how, like, someone basically takes over a bus and says that he has a rig to blow up, and, like, if you stop the bus, it's going to blow up. So they basically just kept having to drive uh, until they figured out the problem. It was a pretty awesome movie. What do you guys think? Um, do you know what decade it came out in? The 90s. 90s. 94. Anyway, it's just like, it's just like one of those classic action movies. Yeah, it's one of those 90s the action past. movies. Like, it's just like, I mean, obviously not as late as Terminator, but like, and maybe not, not as good as Terminator, but. Definitely not as it's, not, Definitely it's not as good. No, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying it's like one of those movies that like, action movies that people just have seen. Like, it's something that most people have seen. It's, it's like Terminator a classic. It's though. got a lot of like, name recognition. Yeah, That's kind of what I'm okay. saying. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not necessarily saying it's a great movie by any standards, but it's definitely just it used a winning formula very well and just worth like on all levels. I mean, the villain was good. Yeah, the main the lead was good, and Sandra Bullock was good. Yeah, I I think a uh, good cast. Um, although I do think like like the main four like uh Keanu, his partner played by Jeff Daniels, Dennis Hopper as the villain, and Sandra Bullock. They're all pretty good, and then the supporting cast, like the people on the bus, are terrible. 
There's like this big Mexican yeah. guy who's like making weird remarks the whole time. That was just pissing me off the whole time I watched the movie. <laughs> yeah, um, I remember that. Like, it, it's an it's an all right die hard knockoff pretty much. Yeah. Um, on a bus, but I I mean it's enjoyable. Uh, Eric. Uh, I haven't seen this one so. Um, one thing I was I was talking to Griff about is there a Liam Neeson movie with the same plot as that? We, I think there is. There, there one he's on a train. Where there's a, and it's like the same thing. Where there's a train oh, and it, a, it stops and blows up. No, no, no. It's not a plane one. It's, no, a, it's a train no, no, one. I think there's a train I've seen one. I've seen no, there's a train he's, one too. He's the air marshal on a plane. No, no, no. I know no, you're talking about. Movie, but there's that's a train different. One. No, he, there's there's one where he's on a train and like they have to stop at a certain time. I feel like the plane movie is the same thing. I've seen a movie like that with Chris Pine and I think Denzel, but. There's been like a small movie. Cool. I remember that. I remember that one too. I'll, I'm just gonna look up Liam Neeson on a train. If it turns out nothing, <laughs> and, then, yeah. <laughs> then I'm just thinking. I don't uh, know what I'm thinking. Um, do we have a whole lot else on speed, or uh, should we move on while Grant's looking that up? Yeah, let's move on. I think there's on. Liam Neeson on a plane, and then there's Liam Neeson on a Neeson. So like, look it up. Yeah, I don't think it's real. All right, we'll, we'll, like, come it it. we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. All right, uh, next up is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Uh, so this is different from the ones we've been talking about so far. Not an action movie, but uh, it's a comedy from the 80s. Keanu was still uh, pretty young at the time. But uh, I think it's it's got its its moments. Uh, it's, it's an all right comedy. Um, interesting premise where two high school kids have to go back in history to uh, gather these historical figures for a history report, or else uh, one of them is going to get sent to military school. So... Sounds kind of dumb, but uh, it's funny. The the guys, uh, Keanu Reeves and the other guy whose name I don't know, they have good chemistry. Um, there's a couple laugh out mo laugh, laugh out loud moments, like uh, Keanu gets distracted with some girls, and his his buddy says, "Hey, it's a history report, not a babe report." And uh, I I enjoy it. It's 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 an all right comedy. Um, has a sequel that did well also. What are your thoughts, Grant? I think it's just a classic stoner comedy. I mean, like, it just uses the formula of two guys yeah. getting high and doing dumb shit. Like, yeah. I mean, and they, they did it well. I'm not going to say it was well acted no. or, like, necessarily a good movie. It just, like, pretty funny. Had some good laughs. Not as good as, like, Dazed and Confused. Oh, or, no, not at all. Or oh, Clerks yeah, or anything close. like that. Oh, yeah. It sounds like just, it's more like a half-baked kind of... Yeah. yeah. I've seen bits and pieces of it. It's just kind of like your average, like, shitty stunner movie. Yeah. 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 It's enjoyable, though. Um, so we'll move on to the next one, which, uh, Eric, do you want to talk about Constantine? Um, I gotta say, didn't really like this movie. <laughs> um, I watched it recently, actually, for this, and I didn't even finish the whole movie. Oh, because, wow. Yeah. Um, it was just kind of like, I don't know, I feel like they just forced, like, the religion part of it, like, so much, and then the, the special effects weren't that great, and there's just nothing that really keeps me really intrigued in the movie. Um, maybe there's, like, redemption, and, like, I think I did a little more than half the movie, so maybe I should finish it before I give it a full, like, you know, bash on it, but I didn't think it was very good. Yeah, and we're talking about this because, uh, Grant, you do enjoy this movie. So. I do like it. Um, I mean, obviously not my favorite favorite Keanu Reeves performance. Um, I like the action in it, and the thing that you might not be seeing is, like, uh, the guy who does the devil in it is known, that's known to be, like, one of the best portrayals of the devil in movies, and I thought, it's like... Better than Ghost Rider? <laughs> yes, yes, better, better than Ghost Rider. <laughs> and, um, like... The climax and, like, the end of the movie is pretty good. I'm not going to say, like, it's the best leading up to it. And, yeah, it is a religious movie. And, yeah. and what what are you going to do? But, uh, I mean, overall, it was a cool premise, I thought. Like, how he's killed himself, or tried to kill himself, and now he has to, like, work to stay alive. And he gets diagnosed. And he realizes he's going to die from smoking too much. And, and now he's going to go to hell. Like, not a lot of it makes a, a whole lot of sense. But yeah. I thought it was an okay movie. Like, a pretty good movie. Griff, have you seen this one? I have not seen this one, but I uh, gotta say I cannot find a Liam Neeson train movie. Oh, maybe I was... I could have sworn there was one. I don't know. Yeah. It's, the one, it's the one on the plane. Man. Yeah, maybe that one. I maybe was thinking was of a train now. Yeah. Yeah. This one where he's like a spy, like called Unknown, I know that. And then he has a superhero movie, too. Batman Begin? No, Dark, <laughs> Dark Man. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sam Raimi directed Which is not... Which is supposedly not that bad a movie, which I haven't seen it, though. Yeah. 
Um, also, Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace. Liam Neeson. <laughs> that, 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 movie, that movie didn't happen. <laughs> I love you talking about. All right, uh, and now to our, the last movie we're talking about, uh, which is why we're talking about Keanu today, John Wick. Uh, Eric, how about you start us off on John Wick? All right, um, I thought the action scenes were great in this movie. Yeah. Like, uh, I think they were very well choreographed. They're, you know, they're really cool. There's a lot of like really like, uh, I don't know, like cool moves in there. I guess you say, you know, where he like does something like kills someone a certain way, and they're like, oh, like damn, like yeah. that was sweet. You know what I mean? But uh. I don't know. I don't know. It just wasn't another one of those movies that really blew me away. So I mean, I think the second one will kind of follow the same like trend. It'll be a good action movie, but I don't think there's ever been a straight action movie that has just been like phenomenal. You know, Die Hard. You mean ever? Die Hard. Uh, yeah, except for Die Hard. <laughs> no, I feel like I'm Mad, I don't know. Mad Max is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, if we're going into but I wouldn't call that as do, much. Like, yeah, action movie. I mean, action. It, it's a lot of nuts of action, but like, I can think of some action being, movies. Being, awesome. being in an apocalyptic future yeah. kind of like, makes it sci-fi. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think like it's just like Saving Private Ryan is an action movie. Well, that's, that's more of a war movie. movie. Yeah. It's an action movie. Count. John Kirk's gonna be fantastic. I'm oh yeah, John Kirk's gonna be good. Amazing. Yeah, but I think uh, John Wick. Um, it's it is just a simple story. Guy. Uh, has everything taken from him, and he goes on revenge, but uh, it's done very well. I think this is probably Keanu's best performance of all the movies we've talked about, um, and I think uh, just some of the action scenes just blew me away, like the the nightclub scene that yeah. goes on for like 10 minutes, he's just headshotting everyone. And yeah, I like, I like when he shoves it, hits a guy in the throat, takes the time to reload his weapon, yeah. and then shoot him in the face. That was <laughs> nice. That was, that was that nice. Was nice. Yeah, he has to headshot everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, even like, if you're dead. He'll, like, shoot a guy, like, three times in the chest, and he'll be down, and then he'll just get back down and <laughs> yeah. one more time. Actually, uh, I have not seen this movie. Oh, yeah, dude, so. you gotta watch it. It's, it's, I mean, especially since the new one's coming out, you gotta yeah. see it. Yeah, um, just awesome action scenes. Uh, John Wick, this mythic character where it's like, oh, shit, like, it's, like, even the, the head of the mob is, like, Oh, uh, you mess with John Wick, yeah, you're gonna die. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> nothing, like, nothing makes you happier than, like, when he kills everyone, because, like, <laughs> dude, it's sad when the dog has crawled over to him and then dies right in front yeah. of him. Yeah. Like, that was horrible. I yeah. didn't want to see that, but I did. Now I root for him to go but murder about a hundred <laughs> people. Um, and then, I mean, obviously, it's just, like, got, like, the classic action movie. Like, I love when... The, the the guy who runs the car shop punches the the bitch son in the face yeah. and then he, and then Beyond the, yeah. 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 and then, and then the, the boss calls him he's just like why'd you punch my son in the face and he's like oh stole John Wick's car and he's like oh oh oh, oh, oh yeah. I'll talk with him like I, just, I I like scenes like that yeah I like how it kind of like pokes fun of it at itself a little bit too like yeah. already it, in the it trailer knows it's a typical action yeah. movie yeah and already in the trailer it's like Oh, like you're not very good at retiring, because the whole time he's like, "I'm done," like I'm not going back in the scene, <laughs> and then he goes and like kills like fifty people, and he's like, "I'm done," like I'm not going to do this again, and then he goes back again. So it's like, it's kind of funny how it's all. You can already see the second one is saying like it kind of pokes fun at itself. Yeah, and I think it's cool how they introduce like all these, uh, all these aspects of like the assassin underworld, where there's like the, yeah. uh, the Continental Hotel where like assassins aren't allowed to kill. And then, like, the, the police officer visits his house where there's, like, clearly a bunch of dead people. He's like, oh, you working again? <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, uh, no, I'm not. I'm kill more people. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> and then, like, the, uh, sort of like in Pulp Fiction, there's, like, the, uh, the cleanup team. Um, oh, that's sweet. Yeah, so it, it's, it's just an uh, awesome action movie. Uh, Griff, I definitely think you should watch it. Um, do we have much else on John Wick, or uh, um, are we going to wrap it up? John Wick 2... I'm interested to see Lawrence Fishburne in a villain role. I, I mean, like, can you think of any movies he's been a villain in? Uh, The Signal. The Signal. Remember that one? No, it was <laughs> such a weird movie. I don't uh, know if he counts as a villain in that. Okay. Though. Like, he yeah. wasn't really bad, but, like, I haven't seen anything he's been the bad guy in. I mean, from what I've seen in the trailers, it looked okay, but that's mm-hmm. not really telling of what it actually will be. Yeah, yeah I'm sure it'll end up with uh, John Wick killing everyone oh. and being the last man Absolutely. standing. And whoever killed his dog. Yeah. <laughs> whoever killed the new dog. Yeah. 
Well, it sounds like and then John Wick like, Three. John Wick Three, Dog's Purpose. Yeah, <laughs> the, dog, <laughs> yeah. the Dog's it's Perfect Two out. makes a John Wick Three. <laughs> yeah, John Wick kills the entire production team of a Dog's Purpose <laughs> because of that, because of that <laughs> viral video. Yeah. All right, uh, so that's gonna wrap up our main discussion today. Um, I would like to say to the audience, uh, it's a big weekend for movies. We have three major releases in the Lego Batman movie. John Wick Chapter 2, and Fifty Shades Darker. So uh, whatever uh, is your taste, uh, definitely try to make it out to the movie theater this weekend. Um, We're getting into those big 2017 movies finally. We're past the Oscar season, so um, I'm excited for this year in movies. And uh, next week we're getting right into it with our review of the Lego Batman movie. So uh, I know I'll be seeing that and John Wick, and I know Grant will be seeing Fifty Shades Darker. Of course. Um, so I want to thank you guys, all three of you, for being here today. Did you have anything you want to say before we sign off? Uh, ben Diesel got snubbed for Best Actor. Yeah. Anyone else? I think we should end on that. All right. Uh, I think DC movies are trash, and we should talk about it for a long time. So they are garbage. <laughs> Eric, you start. You guys are not wrong. Uh, I don't think we have time for that actually, <laughs> but uh. Thanks to everyone for watching, and we'll be back next week. Until then, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes.